Have me. I'm Rox. This is The Bourbon Barrel. And today we're doing something of uh, Rox Design. Okay, so weeded battle. It, okay. Right? Yep. So it's your common, everyday weeds that you can get all the time, Maker's Mark and Larceny. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, we're just going to battle them out. And we got the Barrel Proof Larceny versus the Cask Strength Maker's Mark. And we got the regular Larceny versus the regular Maker's Mark that I bought these little ones because I didn't need to buy a whole bottle of that. True. That. And I have so, on, on the 46. Yeah. yeah. Of the 46. So close yeah. out. Um, so, yeah, you know, it sounded like fun to me. I feel like I like wheats quite a bit, and uh, I've never had the cast strength makers. I've never had the barrel proof uh, larceny. I've had this larceny. I've had regular makers, which I assume you've had regular makers at some point. At some point, and yeah, probably well, the cocktail, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I thought it sounded fun. I thought we should give it a shot and try to throw it up against each other and see what shakes loose. So, where do you want to start first? I don't know. What do you think? I don't well, know. I'm assuming we probably go... Lowers? Yeah, we'll probably start with the base offerings versus base okay. offering and then go into the barrel proofs because those are higher and that's going to hamp everything down afterwards. True. So it's going to make these taste terrible if we start with these because then we go down to these like, and we'll be like, it's all water. It's water. <laughs> yeah, no, this is nothing goody. Goody? Uh, so do you want to start with the little guy? Sure. Let's right. do this. It's just regular makers in, a, in like one of those little 99 cent or dollar fifty. You know what makes me wonder about this when I saw these little things was uh, a they're plastic. Yeah. All right. These aren't glass. Um, not that you, but uh, they show videos when they're doing the big ones of like them dipping the wax. Is there somebody who has to be like this, like like some little golem that just has to do these little buddy bond dippers? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's probably just to go <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I it's don't know. Quick and easy. It's, yeah, it's weird. The uh, the Maker's Mark 90 is the Maker's Mark 90. You can get the cap before we spill it. If it drops, it's okay. It's plastic. But you sure? As long as we got the cap on it. I think. Don't you think? It's plastic, right? Definitely yeah. plastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 90 uh, proof. 90. We did. All right. So, you know, it's, you know this, is, this is Maker's Mark baseline offering. This is like their bottom, bottom of the barrel. Ironically, we have not had this on the show. That's never good. once. Not we've had Maker's products, just never yep. this. We did the 101, the, the 46, and the 46 cask strength yes. on an episode. And now we're doing the regular and the cask strength regular. True. We've never had Larceny on. That's weird, too, because this is on everybody's list of, like, put that on your cart. It's, like, 28 bucks. It's 92 or 94 proof, 92. It's a good company in Heaven Hill, and people, you know, always, almost everybody is, like, put that on your bar cart or on your shelf or whatever. I always have a bottle of this. Now, what you were telling me that was interesting, if you mm. want to. Yeah, oh, I don't um, care. You tell them. Go ahead and tell them, and I'll, I'll set it up. Oh, right. The The rumor mill goes that uh, the Larceny bottle is made to go up next to the Maker's Mark bottle to because it's the Maker's Killer. Like, Heaven Hill made a weeded bourbon to, kill, to try to defeat Maker's Mark, essentially, or beat them, or be as good as them, or whatever. So, the key, this is designed like a key, which you see right here on the thing, right? It's a key because... That I have that story a little bit here. John E. Fitzgerald, which is what Fitzgerald, the bourbon is named after, too old Fitzgerald. Yep. He was a government agent that was a guard, a warehouse guard for all the uh, federally bonded warehouses that they were making bourbon in. And, and it, he was a treasury agent. And he used to take or steal whiskeys. And they used to say any the barrels would be lighter. Anytime they'd go to barrel something, they'd find some barrels were lighter than others. And it was always after a shift he would work. Hmm. So he would take whiskey <laughs> out of them, out of where he knew the best barrels were, and thus the larceny he was stealing, um, yeah. the lighter barrels. Henceforth, they would be known as the Fitzgerald barrels when they would find those. Hmm. Um, to give you guys a full representation of this, uh, Larceny is 68% corn, Maker's Mark is 70, so two point difference. The wheat is 20% in Larceny, Larceny and it's 16% in Maker's Mark, but it's also red winter wheat in Maker's Mark versus it just says wheat for Larceny. And then the last one is malted barley, 12% and 14%. So it's very, very close. Very close. And then you get the red winter wheat and then this, that, and the other. So. I don't know. Like I said to him, I was telling him earlier, it just sounded like a cool battle to battle these out a little bit, see which we did we like better. Mm -hmm. This is this is the 46, the bottle you're looking at. Yeah. But the regular size bottle is about 30 bucks. This is about 28 bucks. Very similar. This was about 45. This was about 60 or something. But this is a limited release, too. 
Okay, the Larceny Barrel Proof comes out a couple times a year, kind of like Elijah Craig does with their Barrel Proofs, because it's all Heaven Hill. Maker's Mark Cask Strength is pretty much always available, at least where yeah. we are. So, right. it's, oh, you're good. But Stop it! Honestly, I feel like... So, this is a 750 bottle, and this is a one, one liter. They only make the cast strength now, one liter. Now, when we first did this, and we put them together for that lock and key kind of thing, right? I thought it looked like lock it fit key, like uh, better towards the liter than it did the 750. But after further review, I'm going to say yeah, that's this, the 750 is probably the closer call. I love that. I love the stories, though. I've always been a proponent of the stories. So this is just regular Makers. Did you drink this? I did. It's not bad. And it's 90. Makers, um, mm -hmm. I believe it's still a company that's owned by themselves, right? And they own their own stuff. The second like household, they yeah. they're expanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, uh, their grandson runs it now, Rob, and it was, the, you know, so on and so forth. But that's their baseline. There's nothing under 90 at Makers. You don't get 80 or 85s at all. So no 86 in that. But there is something again. Okay, so it's yeah, it's 90 makers mark, and it's fine. But I love I love the weeded. So I'm fine. I, you know, it's just that that soft, subtle like it. It almost has a okay. This could be wrong for anybody else out there. It almost has a same a similar um mouth feel and 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 taste and stuff as uh, when you add some ice because ice seems to mellow stuff that might be a little higher proof, whereas wheat kind of seems to do it on its own. Like soften it, maybe. That's that's an interesting thought. Yeah, to a degree, I can I can see that. Okay, yeah. It's anyway, a good, good call. So anyway, we're just gonna try it and see what happens. So that's the regular makers. Kind of got an idea of that. So you want to go down to the regular Larson, yeah. see what's going down. So yeah, I don't know. It sounded like a fun time. The only other really wet, really readily available, and readily available is a harsh term for what I'm about to say, or but regularly made wheat. Bourbons are, that's what I meant to do, um, are the Wellers. And we just did a Weller in one of our last ones, a 12-year. and But the Wellers aren't that easy to come by. No, unless you, apparently in Ohio, the uh, Special Reserve is pretty readily available. How far are we from Ohio? Like two hours? Far, far than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The further, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're going directly west, not down. Yeah, but okay. yeah, they uh, they use that as like their base of exchange. Like that's their dollar bill. Like Larson era Weller, Weller Special Reserve. That's awesome. Like, you, can, you can sell like ten or twelve Special Reserves for like a couple different bottles of something harder to find. I have I have had a bottle of Larceny. I like Larceny. I think it's a good product. I think it's a cheap product for the point, and you're not spending twenty six on a eighty okay. proof. I, I've always liked it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to I remember. Can't say that I've had this. Oh, oh, we're popping his cherry. So anyway, it's another thing people always smell. Not always, but quite a, a bit smell cherries. cherries. Yeah, and I don't get a lot of cherries on most things. I don't know if I just don't have that. There was something that we had that was finished in like a cherry bomb, something or other. Cherry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Cherry something. I, I think it was. I think it was a three chord. Might have been. It was that crazy. I think it was three chord. Yeah. The burnt is worse than the makers. What's the is the proof the same? Ninety four ninety, and four points two percent alcohol. So correct me if I'm wrong. Elijah Craig is made by Heaven Hill. Yes, sir. So ninety four ninety four. Yes, but ninety four ninety two. This is ninety two. Oh, I thought you said it was ninety four. I'm mistaken. And Elijah Craig isn't the weeded mash bill. Yeah. Gotcha. So so it's. It's close, though. I know where you were going with that. Like, Elijah Craig, we, we kind of broke that fourth wall a while back, and I don't bring that up too often in case I it said something I should have said back then. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, the other weird ones are E.H. Taylor Jr. E.H. Taylor makes a bottle called Seasoned Wood on the bottle. Okay, I've never even heard of it, so I did research for this. That is a weeded, their weeded recipe from Buffalo Trace that mm -hmm. they use for an E.H. Taylor. And the 12-year-old and the foolproof and the antique and the single barrel and the special reserve are all weeded. And Pappy Van Winkle is weeded. Yes. Um, but again, those aren't things that are just always right there. You know, you can't, you can always. Again, it's these. very hard to find a Buffalo Trace product unless it's like the white dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which no, yeah. I actually, I have, to, I have to buy some so I can make some. Uh... You going to rebarrel some barrels? Nope. No. Oh. We're gonna, I'm going to make some. Uh, it's uh, apple pie moonshine. It's very tasty. 
You have to let it mellow for at I'm least three right minutes. now. Just thinking about it's you saying it. It's very good. I have some that's like three years old. It's pretty tasty. It's three years old. It's so tasty. good. Oh yeah, the longer you let it mellow, the better it gets. This is good. I mean, yeah, I still no, like it's, it. It's not bad. And what's the price on that? Twenty six ninety nine. Twenty seven. Yeah, for twenty six dollars, that's not bad. Uh, it's and again, it's always there. And these ones aren't there a couple times a year. I am picking up what you said about the burn on that. A little bit more than the makers, right? Mm -hmm. 90 proof. Yeah. So two couple proof points. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. I thought it would be a good time. We're going to have some fun figuring it out. I'm having a good time. I'm always here. Just you guys having a good time. Having a good time. <laughs> Don't make me start dancing. Um, He's been drinking. He will. I will. It's not, it's not even close to not true. He's got the dice throw. I do. Playing with dice and stuff. The dice. It's all he's got. It's all he's got. So yeah. It's... Anyway, um, you know what? This is the. Yeah, is they're little plastic bottles, so baby, you know, baby plastics. A little interested. I'm actually trying to do the whole like, I, and I don't. Hmm. Now that one takes has a little bit more burn to it in its own way. Interesting. Sort of, like I. I don't know. It doesn't leave me thinking good things about how high this proof is. <laughs> Here lies another, which we can immediately sort of get into. Now, the corn, the maker's mark is 2% more corn, mm -hmm. a little bit less wheat. Sure. I don't know if that would really, but if, if, if that is the difference that I'm tasting to make me think, well, I'm kind of leaning towards the maker's a little bit as, the, mm -hmm. as far as the flavor goes of that. Yeah. Um, that's kind of saying something about my palate, I guess, as far as, like I always say, I don't think I'm that experienced or that good at my, my palate's really that uh, grown. And now I'm thinking, maybe I did, if I picked up 2% of corn or something like that, like that's like, yeah. He's very sophisticated. <laughs> like it. Um, here's a difference too, though. Like, I did what I could to get what we got, but the barrel proof here is 124.4, and this is only one weight. Oh, okay. That's, there's no other way to compare. Like, I, yeah. I literally got the barrel proof I could find and the cask strength. Like, what else is there? Right. It's the closest we can get to try to battle them. So this is going to be hotter. I guess we're starting with the bakers then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I don't know. You got to wake up. I've been going. drinking. I ended up do it. I mean. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. I don't know. I thought it, yeah, I thought this would sound like a fun time. We, I mean, honest to God, we could throw the Bond and Lillard in here if we felt bored because that's the... Oh, no, that's turkey. Sorry. Never mind. Sorry. I I get turkey and makers mixed up in my head, even though I know turkey's not a weed, but I always think it is because it's so damn smooth. <laughs> anyway. So this is 108 proof. Yeah. 108.7. That's over 50% for you layman's. <laughs> makers mark, but a little over the top. That first taste says it all, it says. Boldest expression of Maker's Mark to date. I'm I'm picking up caramel notes and even some cherry. Like you may not. <laughs> it mentions right. It, it mentions again red winter wheat right on the bottle. It's, it's definitely nice. darker, but this is super dark too. Again, I I don't know. I I, I feel like I am a, a weeded. I'm more of a weeded person than I ever thought prior or whatever. I have a memory of, oh, God, about 15, 18 years ago of somebody leaving, like, coming over to my house and we partied and whatever and leaving a bottle of Maker's Mark there mm -hmm. that was barely open and me thinking, this is the worst shit. <laughs> like, why did he leave this here? It was Hollywood that left it at my house that night. Who's going to, I got to text him maybe this weekend about that 12-year pappy he's going to yeah. let us do. Um, and he left it there because we were just partying and he left it there. It's whatever. And I was like, this is garbage like this is terrible 20 years ago i was like this is why would i ever drink this shit with age comes wisdom it's true it's <laughs> true you're you're everything ages well, i mean think of it this way like people, kids in college are drinking keystone like on people, purpose yeah oh my god yeah, no right so like with age comes wisdom is like okay 20 years ago you thought makers was shit but now you're like oh okay it's more as more of a refined palette like i've had some things i I, I don't want to get up and go to the bathroom every five minutes, so I'm not going to drink beer. I'm going to drink <laughs> Or I'd like to drink 50 calories versus yes. 500 calories. Yeah, exactly. This. Like, this is... But, so I heard this thing with one shot of, like, a vodka or something. This is equivalent to, like, a quarter stick of butter. Okay. But you drink a regular beer, I mean, that's like a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeast at all. I was going to get some Blue Moon on the way home. I'm not now. But, you know, it sounded good for the weekend to have right. a few Blue Moons. My favorite beer, person. It makes me happy. I, well, you know, life's short. Drink bourbon. It's true, so. Noses. I, again, so before I did all the spinning and stuff, I was picking up sweeter tones. I was picking up some cherry, some, some caramel. Uh, afterwards, now that the alcohol is kind of evaporating a little bit. I'm getting, I'm, yeah, I'm getting a little, little vanilla caramely sort of, the wood grain sort of, you know, flavors that come out of that. But I'm interested. I'm very interested. I'm I'm I dangerously think, almost frightened about this one. I but. think that this is probably going to be the winner of the day just based on the nose. Like this is this is giving me giving me some excitement. And the, my my baselines, I I'm leaning towards makers this much. Like I don't know if it's I'm right or wrong, but I still like, love I, it I think this is going to be in that sweet spot for the proof. The 108.7. I think it's not going to burn that bad. Like, oh. there's a, so this is my problem with things like Booker's. Like, okay. Booker's is always like 120 plus proof. Right, right. And it always burns. Like, it's hard to distinguish the different flavor notes and things in a Booker's because it's just burn, burn, burn. Hmm. <laughs> no, I get that. I totally understand that. It's trying to differentiate the flavors after you can get mm-hmm. past the whatever yeah. is buggy like like kind of overwhelming the yeah you know what i mean so you're trying to kind of like pick out of a a rose out of a mm-hmm. um field what is sure. that you know what a, a metaphor i'm using there like find a rose and, and a, then uh no and a needle in a haystack you, and this is, that's it but there was something rose in a field of thorns or something like there's some weird something i know i'm forgetting it but I'm you sorry. are because i don't understand what you're saying yeah, fair enough all right so this is i've been drink, drinking so you, the the wheat is going to bring out that sweetness, and it did. I for me, this is definitely sweet. Um, on the first taste, very sweet, not bad at all. Um, for one away, it's pretty. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, the burn that, is for that proof. The burn is minimal. Yep. Yep. A little bit of caramel, a right. little bit of vanilla. I mean, those are things you're going to find in those barrel strengths because it's in the wood. Right. Um, but yeah, it's uh. I honestly like this better than I like the uh, the OG makers. The back, the back says the story. He was the only person that had keys to the, the warehouse in Sydney. He's Jesus, I mean, he's dead now, long since. Like, yeah. Rest in peace and all that. But like, they're just like, listen, we're making this about the guy who stole a bunch of shit, and we're right. like, Christ, freaking heaven, hell. It's. Well, they have those cool stories too. Like, I mean, there's that, and then there's like the the forgiveness or redemption or whatever it is. The redemption, where basically the uh, the blender inadvertently mixed things wrong. Oh, right, and right, it created right. a whole new blend for their bourbon. Did you do this because it's like, amazing. It, it, it you did tastes this? really good. Like, like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, so like, 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 like no forgiveness way, or whatever. It's like this is okay. Like, it's, but it's probably all right. asshole bosses were like, "You're right. You're fired. Get out." Well, what did he do? Like, do this. Right? Try this, this, man. It's good. Oh, I don't sure. want to pay him. Bring him back. Bring him back. Yeah, I don't want to bring him <laughs> pay dividends for the next big or something. But that was that's the story behind it. It's either forgiveness or redemption. I don't remember which one. I but, don't know either. Yeah. You know, I've been drinking. It's true. Occasionally. It's like, lots. Even a mistake can turn into a good thing. So let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> it's true. It's a happy mistake. Oh, damn. So, yeah, these ones are all, like, batched, numbered, and this, that, and the other. It's A122, and if it's like... Um, so that would be the probably the first release of 2022. First iteration of 2022. And I don't know if Larceny does three. Like I think Elijah Craig does three. I think Booker's does three. Yeah. And it's I'm gonna have to give this a roll and see what happens. Got the speed spider man. Then we can kind of go back and forth a little bit if we so choose to, you know, reset this, reset that. I don't know. Accidentally. So yeah, nice pop. There you go. It was a nice pop. I like it. <laughs> But, you know, I don't know. I just, again, I, I'm wondering if wheat distribution or whatever is just, is it harder to come by? Is it more expensive? Is there anything to it that people just don't use it as much as others? Because it's always, rye is the most common secondary, quote unquote, flavor grain of bourbon, period. Like, it's probably 80 to 90% always rye is the second grain of well, corn. I mean, they make rye because right. it's cheap. Right. It's... it's According to Jesse, it's the thing that, you know, a lot of places can make it faster. They can make it tasty, fast, 
and inexpensively. Right, right. Like, right. it's not going to take you six years to get a good ride. It's going to take you two or three. It's true. And you're not held up with all the constraints of, like, what a bourbon is. We did that Wernheim wheat whiskey you had. Yes. Like, even on the first, like, second episode. Right but that's you. I don't. That's another thing, too. Like, we've been doing a little bit. If you go back through a couple episodes and then you go way back, like, we've been kind of redoing some things to see where we stand. Right. But... Um, the wheat whiskey, we did not, but yeah. again, with the wheats, I don't know if there's another wheat out there aside from the Wellers, which we just had the Wellers and Wellers was awesome. Yeah. So I love that Weller. You know, I love my baby Weller. I never let it go. This is, oh my God, 124.2. I'm, I'm trying to let it air out, man. 124.4. <laughs> Get some of that evaporation going, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? Yeah, that's a, that's a strong nose. The only thing... Okay, so my favorite barrel proof thus far has been bullet barrel proof. Yes. For whatever reason. You guys can throw out the bullet this and bullet that. There's a lot of stories about bullet and where it comes from and where it doesn't. I There's a lot it's of... It's your like, favorite barrel using, proof. You know, and Makers goes with cask strength, and I don't know why they use cask or strength versus barrel or proof. You hear cask strength, you hear barrel proof. You hear barrel strength, you never hear cask proof. No. You know, that they, somebody should do that. Like, why not just throw the different words in there? Cask proof? Well, why not? They do barrel strength. I wonder if that's proof. because they think, like, it's, like, you know, bulletproof, cask proof. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What if you... So... It's impossible to be gotten by a cask. The the only other thing that I've liked almost as much, and I'm going to say this much, and I'm going to... And, and also the reason I'm going to say almost is because it's batched, is the uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof that I have. That I still have a little bit in one bottle, and I have another bottle I never opened, and they tr it turns out they're the exact same batch, so it's like, but that's fine too. But uh, oh, I'm sure in that, yeah, that litany of uh, I guess alcohol. The top shelf here. There's mm -hmm. a lot of, for for those not looking, like that's just the top shelf. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> there are four more shelves below that that are just full of bourbons. It's true. And Way down here, and I got to get another thing to carry them because I'm running out of space. It's true. Well, you know, it's a it's it's a hobby. I mean, you tell just get hobby. lost in yeah. like I. Like, there's part of me that was like, I wonder if I should stop somewhere. You know what's it. really messed up is there's thousands of dollars worth of bourbon on that. True story. Thousands of dollars worth of bourbon. Why yeah. is that messed up? It's because it's not. It doesn't look like that much space, like for thousands of dollars worth of anything. Well, I mean, you know, if you I have mean, if you have I the right baseball could, card, it's this big. I and could, it's worth. I could 10 stack grand. like nothing but ones on there and fill it. And it would probably be thousands of dollars, but. <laughs> Have you tasted this? Not yet. How are we going? I don't know. I want you to taste it. I'm taking extra baby sips. I'd like to point out yeah. extra baby sips for extra babies. So all the babies don't get any. I'm going to take lots of baby sips. So none of those babies are out there drinking. Unless they want to. I mean, if that's their call. I mean, freedom of choice. Um. Interesting. I want to say the burn wasn't as bad as I thought. I was thinking be. the burn was going to be much worse than it was. Yeah, you're right. Heaven Hill is a, like, we're not comparing makers to Joe's distillery we've never heard of. Heaven Hill's Heaven Hill. You know what I mean? Like, they know what the hell they're doing, too. Matter of fact, Heaven Hill used to be ran by a lot of beams. Like, yeah. a lot of the beam names were in Heaven Hill. I don't know that there's a lot left now. I know there's one beam that has something to do with the Yellowstone stuff. But he was like one of the sons of the sons who wasn't involved with the whiskeys or something. But then he wanted to get into whiskeys. I don't know. But so it definitely there's definitely a burn. Like I can still look at it. It's not a burn though. It's like a warmth. But that's but that's what I'm saying. If it's, it's a warmth and not a burn yeah, for one twenty, that's, that's a plus, that's a, right? That's definitely a win. And it's again the same company as Elijah Craig and their barrel proofs. And I, I just was like, you know. Like I can, st I can still feel like a tickle on my tongue from this, and I, I haven't had. Do it. you like when your tongue tickles? Sometimes. Yeah. Okay, I did tell. Yeah. yeah. No, this is great. This is great. This is definitely. How, how much did this cost? Sixty, sixty-five. Hey, that's worth it. But it's for you got to come up. You got to find for a, it for a gotta... for a barrel proof. That's worth it. Yeah. Like absolutely. I mean, the high. This is something like I honestly would love to put this up against like a Booker's. Because you like, have bookers, right? I, I do. Is it open? I don't know. You have any bookers that are open? I don't know. I think we finished it off. Okay. Well, I'm just asking. You don't need it. You didn't even have to get up, per se. But so anyway, what are you guys up to? 
What have you found out there that you think we should try and you would like okay. to see us review? Here, check this out. Okay, so okay. I have two of these so we can open this one. Okay. You don't have to open something new. It's fine. Fine. Right. It's fine. It's the same batch this as the was, other one? Yes, this is the exact same label and everything. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, this is good. This is good. This is good. <laughs> so this is good. This is good. This is good. All right. 2201. This is the first... So Booker's always has a name for every yes, batch, right? Yes, this is they, Ronnie's they, batch. That started recently, like within the last like five years, though. I thought. So that one's Ronnie's batch, too? Yes, this All is right. the same exact 2201. All right. Same same color label, which they changed the name. No, it's fine. You already do it. So if you have something cool that we don't have and you want some of Ronnie's batch, we can we can do an exchange. Let us know. They're realizing right now for maybe the first time in a year plus that how much taller you are than me because you never stand you up. Stand up. Yeah, you're the sitter and I'm the stand up. Down and so it looks it doesn't look weird like this. I don't sit down because I like move around and talk with my hands too much. So I'm always like, you know that happened. You're welcome. That's fine. There we go. Cool. All right, yeah, so this is, why we, this, this is why we don't open these things on, because it's, it's so hard to open these things. But here. This is the episode I'm going to love, because we're going like, yeah, right. to be goofy and overblown. That's, that was interesting. Okay. You don't need this? No, you can throw that out. That's all right. It. It's like all wax? Yeah, unless you want to keep that wax or something. You know, like wax your chest or something? I don't know. No, no, no. I like to go full hair. Mm -hmm. So. Interesting. I can't. Now wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's let's back up for a split second and be like, okay, so this was this maker's cast good. drink was it was good, and I honestly thought that was going to be my winner. Sixty. It was more like now, but that that's kind of where I'm going though. But kind of like the price point. This was more like forty five to fifty, mm -hmm. right? And this is and this one's hard to find. You have to get there when the batches come out and find your store where you can right. be able to get your hands on it. And this was a special yeah. call from Foster's, oh, like, right. hey, they have a Booker's and you're on the list. Come get it. Right. He only got three of them. He got one of these and he got two of the 2202s. I picked this one because I figured the O2s, I have a more likely chance of those coming back and getting one of those. There's, okay, so there's three of them. Mm -hmm. And I don't know which of these three, one of them is four times a year and something is three times a year. And there's Larson, Elijah Craig, and Booker's. And I, I don't remember Booker's which one's is three. I feel like maybe then maybe uh, either Elijah Craig or Larson or both because they're having Hiller four. Something's four times a year. I just yeah. swear it is. So this one has been aged for six years, 11 months, and 22 days. It is 124.3 proof. So that's dead on. Like 124.3, and we got 124.4. So this is literally it can't the, be any almost closer. Yeah, without, the, without being exact. Almost the same proof. With a completely different. Um, distillery. And, and this we're is going from Beam to Heaven Hill. Which again, well, no, Heaven. isn't Booker's a uh... Beam? Oh, hundred percent. Okay. Yep. All right, you're right. Nope, that's that's on me. This is not say anything. You said, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs> you didn't make a mistake. You didn't say. Well, this is this is one of the few things that's really hard to find that isn't like a Buffalo Trace product around here. Like, yeah, the limited. Is... Yeah, like makers, we've discussed it mm -hmm. off camera. Like the BRTs and stuff they put out, they never get to upstate New York, or if they do, we yeah. don't see them. They certainly don't get to a shelf I, in upstate. New York. I, it's real hard to find that. It's hard to find like an Elijah Craig toasted or Elijah Craig barrel fruit. Like the Elijah Craig toasted throws me off because, and this is a him thing, and that's understandable. With, again, with you like what you like, your palate, all that stuff. But he likes toasted I stuff do. a little I bit. I love the toasted. And, and okay, so I do too. But when I include the price point, because if you back up a little bit, I've always been that price point guy a little bit. Where I mentioned it, like I said, this is probably twenty, thirty more dollars than this, roughly on average, and a little harder to find. This is a one liter. This is a seven fifty. If you actually. Dumb that down. This is probably thirty dollars cheaper, or twenty five, thirty dollars cheaper. You know, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So I don't know if it's this grabbing, is needed, but them. this like there's this no mash bill anywhere. There's no mash bill anywhere, but it does have a sweet to the nose. Hmm, interesting. This is oh yeah, no, I'm doing so, right yeah, now. Yeah, this is literally the almost exact same proof as the larceny. And I enjoyed the larceny because it, it had that burn. It didn't have a burn. It but it, it mellowed. Yes. Yes. It mellowed. It was mellow. And, and the, the warmth, it, though. You said the, yes. there was no burn. It was just warmth. Yes. And, it, and it lingered. The it was warmth so lingered. good. It was the very way you good. said that. 
No, no, I mean the way you said it. Like sure, the, yeah, the way you changed burn into warmth as opposed to saying mm-hmm. just the burn. Like Whereas I literally just shit on bookers and said it's always just so high proof. It's always a burn. Like so right. we'll see. Well honestly right. we're about to find out. Right. So this will be fun. Oh, this is dangerous. It's dangerous. Might be some thieving going on here. Okay, this is definitely I don't I don't taste that same mellow we did. Right, but well, I'm also not. Yeah, getting, well, Booker's. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think it's weed. I don't think it's weeded. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But again, there's there's a warmth now, and it could be because we've been drinking those higher proofs. It's a quicker warmth. Mm-hmm. It's a. It doesn't linger as long. Um, I just really know you gotta like. You probably gotta work that shit out. Honestly, I'd be hard pressed to tell you the difference between the two. I mean, mm-hmm. this one definitely had the wheat. I can taste the sweetness. I can't believe you just went over there and opened that hooker. Yeah, this. fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you only live once. But, I don't know. Okay. I immediately, the second sip, mm-hmm. got a, got caramel. And, what, and I want to say this. It's not just like I caught caramel. It's like that almost tasted that second sip of the booker is like, a, like I ate, like I had a caramel in my mouth. Yeah, and I, a, I just had a swallow, you know what I mean? Like swallowing yeah. saliva, but I had one in my mouth, like as if, you know, I had a sore throat or something. I don't know. Or yeah, I just like Werther's. Mm-hmm. That was, that was almost like a drink of caramel. Almost. Wow. Not, not so thick. That so I am going to apologize about my earlier statements about bookers. Um, this, sure. this is definitely like, it, it tickles the tongue a little bit. It's a little bit more of a burn than this, but it's still warmth after a while. Oh, it's oh no no yeah yeah. It's it's not just burn. Like I am tasting other elements to it. Like you said, with the caramel. Um, there's there's more to it than just burn. And I apologize for like I I think it might be if you just try this on its own. What if it's if where you, you start you work up to the we've been drinking right. all day and you got if this. you work up to the proof. I feel like that might be the way to go when you get to Booker's. Because if you just start with 124 proof, you're going to be like, yeah. But if you start with like a 90 and get to 108, go to the something similar in proof, like 120, then yes, the Booker's is probably going to do you right. Because honestly, I can't find anything that I would regret about this. Not at all. But Not at all. I would buy that in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Again, so as as we've said before, we really do like the higher proof stuff. Um, that's just us. Oh, flavor. The, they just come out, cool. they're more expressed. And I was very pleasantly surprised by even this being 124 proof. Mm-hmm. And for $60, you're, if you're able to find it. <laughs> Not really moving. Um, definitely. Definitely a thing that you should you should find if you can find it, get it, enjoy it. That's insane that it, there's a tenth of a proof point difference right. between those two, and one's weeded, and one I'm ninety nine percent sure is not weeded. Right. Yeah, there might wheat could there be, could a be grain some in wheat, but it's not. A I don't think. It's yeah, a it's like a flavor grain. grain or something, but it's not the actual like. I don't know. Now I'm going back and forth a little with these baby sips because now yeah. I want to. She's got lots of baby sips, extra baby sips. Remember, but see, I get. I get a caramel from that one too. It's that mm-hmm. that second sip seems more okay. I'm saying it seems more seems more syrupy. Yeah. Than the first one where it's like you got to get through that ethanol issue. Yeah. And then you, especially at 120 is plus, and then you get into that where it's just like almost this syrupy coating feel. And like you said, you filled it on that. That was so perfect. It went from burn to warmth. And it's the transition. It's mm-hmm. it's how quickly does it go to it? Is it is there any burn at all? And if the burn is, how quickly does it? And how well does it? And you know, it's that's tough. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Now, a Booker is when you find it it's gonna be like you're, eighty nine. You're gonna bucks. have to buy it. Yeah, it's gonna be. Like but this is gonna be like sixty seventy bucks. It's not. Right. We're not talking like a whole big difference. But both of them are definitely something you should buy if you see them on the show. Oh, God, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Like, they're great. They're both great. They both do well. They both have a warmth to them. Uh, definitely don't mix them because you'll you'll lose a lot of that flavor. Um, That's just... But they're both real good. I would love to come back to this mm-hmm. um, a month, two months, three months, six months back where these two, if these bottles specifically were... Obviously, they're open, but that's what I'm saying. Like I would like to come back to it when they're open. Sure. And try them. Maybe a month down the road. And then if the same two bottles still exist, a month after that, try them with ice and see where things progress and or regress, perhaps. 
Um, because... I do know that now that this is open, the ropes are going to have a try of it. <laughs> well, you just don't tell them it's open. You just put it back in the glass and don't even know. Yeah, I live here. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I don't usually burp a lot, but I got like, like I just burped like a couple times. It's warm, so it's a little bit it of oxygen. It's like it's like eating pasta sauce, man. <laughs> if you're a starter, this one and Maker's Mark are good starters. Yeah, absolutely, like put those on your bar carts, like they say. Absolutely, not like you can even see like the difference in color in these. Oh yeah, it's very evident. And since we sat because because they're water, like there's extra water added to those to proof them down. Whereas these are definitely darker, and I mean, look at the bookers too. Like that's a that's a darker color altogether. Absolutely, and that's because these aren't watered down. So if you're starting out in bourbon, go for the lower proof, and then work your way up. Hmm. Yeah, this is eye opening in a way, but not. Mm -hmm. So what it is, is it's eye-opening in the way that, I, it's sort of like the Maker's 101 story I mentioned earlier. It's just that, and, and the way you you added in an, an extremely excellent element uh, explanation to it, where going from warmth to burn is really a, a cascading, like, mm -hmm. if it burns all the way down, you're like, okay, yeah. well, hold on, you know, but if it burns turns into warmth quickly or there is no burn but it's just a heavy warmth because you're like i loved it from the beginning even though the warmth was warm mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that was like redundant this, but you this, know this had a warmth to it it didn't really burn this one started out as a burn turned into a warmth but didn't last as long as this one did yeah it was very interesting that's dangerously close yeah dangerously very good both both of them are very good in their own ways yeah um, like i'm very very pleasantly impressed with the bookers because i know i shit on them earlier on in the episode you said you felt burn. It was burn. It's hard. To, it's it's always hard to distinguish the flavors. The time you do it, yeah. you're not necessarily starting eighteen bourbons in like we are today, That's where it's true. like That's you know. True. And this is, I think this, I think we uh, normally we have, after you've been drinking a lot, it's harder to distinguish because everything, the road everything tastes good this. once you get there. But no, he's absolutely right. This is probably one of my favorite episodes, just because we started at like the ninety, we worked our way up, and we ended. At the the highest proof of something that's basically, perhaps yeah. part of this too to uh, elevate Booker's a little bit. And this comment is that uh, if this is the weeded, and I kind of went on and on about how it seems to be almost like ice in ways, where it kind of the wheat mellows it and yeah. it turns the heat into burn quick or the burn into uh, warmth quicker. Warmth, yeah. Um, this one we don't think is, I'm almost 99% sure. it's not weeded. The wheat might be in there somewhere, but I, I don't even it's, know if that's true. Probably not the, the higher of the grains. But that kind of goes to show that when they pick out what they're doing for bookers, they know, they're like, this is the shit. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, and this it's is like, going to be good. It, and it definitely turned from a burn to a warmth. Like, that's, that's great. Oh, quickly. Um, it, it almost wasn't a burn. It was yeah, just caramel. It was, it was like drinking this. syrup, and as was this on the second sip. And so... That was crazy, but it was awesome in a, in a crazy, Definitely. awesome way. That was crazy, awesome. So, so uh, with that, yeah, find, yeah, let's go find, look, find them, get them, enjoy them. Ask go when you go to your local stores and stuff. If you've got a rep, or a, uh, a rep <laughs> no, right, we've if, been drinking. If you have a relationship, rapport, rapport relationship <laughs> uh, with people. Say, hey, uh, I would like to be on a list, or could you guys call me when the Larceny or the Elijah Craig or the Bookers uh, comes out? Because they're, you know, a couple times a year, three, right. four, whatever. And that's one of those things where it's harder to get. And right, I would right. definitely be asking our stores to put me on a, on a list for the Barrel Proof Larceny. Yeah, yeah. Because I enjoyed that. I don't, I, I'm hoping, I told him earlier, I'm hoping we don't get to a point well i'm hoping we do if it's a good thing but i, I don't want to get to a point where it's like all we can really do is like what new batch of this came out because we've just tried everything i think we have enough enough in the tank where we have a couple few more years where we can still get some so. blinds and stuff oh, so we're still, we haven't blinded in a while i there's mentioned that barrels there's still a shit ton of different bourbons and things that we haven't even tried we need to do some more so, blinds. We will, we will get into the blinds, but we got to build up the repertoire of things we've tasted before we can blind them, you know? Yeah. So, But again, if we blinded something neither of us have ever tasted, isn't that the most clearest of the blinds? No. In a certain type of way. That's like a blind you would put on a window. Well, <laughs> you know, if that blind's never been pulled before and you pull it for the first time, uh, yeah. might open shit up. I know. So, in any event, but we got to throw in an Irish whiskey just to fuck with the absolutely new lines. No, we don't. I meant screw. Sorry. He knew me. I'm not sorry. Neat. 
I'm not sorry. I'm Ross. This has been The Bourbon Barrel.